So, welcome guys. Uh, today I'm gonna discuss about my the, my experiences on on lead code on second day second. It's like uh, I had been working with some couple of more problem today, and I had some new experiences and well uh, in compared to the first day i had the experiences like uh it's not that complicated but there are a lot of chances or a lot of opportunities that can man uh, people can use it like a uh, they can improve it i mean the great opportunity i have found it here it's like you can you know you can see other people's code and you can also you know, lead code doesn't allow me to see the code from other people. Somehow it was uh, locked. I couldn't see it. But in internet, in YouTube, for example, or in some blog, you can see some other people's uh, solutions. You can compare with your solutions. And, and, and the good thing is about some lot of billion people out there. And you can get very good solutions from them. And uh, you can compare with your your solutions and you can learn something out of that that i found very interesting in this platform the problems and they have quite a extensive uh, way of testing the the, the 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 system for example the uh, problem i have been dealing with is some basic one basic problem i had dealt with on hard problem and now i'm going to show you how and what problem i have been dealing with and what is the outcome I have and how did they deal with that I wanted to show so let's uh, I show my screen now video capture device display okay so it's like uh, the problem I was uh, dealing with was the check second pro problem was uh, arranging coins arranging coins or something like the problem was I had a couple of time wrong answer and then finally it was good uh, well it was an easy problem so uh, the first time actually the, they have a uh, it's like a, uh, they will provide a number n you have to say how many a uh, stair of coins are generated out of that it's like how, how many first coin is like number one second coin is two third coin, coin should be on more three four it should be like that so how many full completed uh, coins can be built you have to tell the number of stairs for example here is three the result should be three and here the result should be two because two full of them was able to done and the integer limit was a uh, 32 bit integer non negative uh, that means something like uh, 2 trillion reigns right so they have quite uh, extensive testing capacity or uh, style that they're doing inside well the first time i have been doing a little bit uh, this could little bit uh, less understandable but i i show you my code how was it uh, like uh, the arranging coins well, the first time I have been doing with uh, actually this one, the solution was this one. And uh, well, I told about the staircase and then I just loop through until n, the number they provide, for example, when they provide eight, loop through until eight. And then I just uh, recording the number of uh, total used uh, number. It's like when it's more than nine, then I break. Uh, more than n then I break and otherwise I just count it how many complete stairs can be built I just put it in there and then I send it well and then it was not bad and the, the time complexity I had it was like one uh, uh, yeah so it, it's also n log n actually it was n log n it's like a, not a complete uh, for loop no it's it's n actually it's n because until the whole loop it does and uh, this is also n actually okay so then uh, i returned the number of stairs 
And then I found a even more smart solution. Actually, this, this was uh, already satisfied. I mean, the the test was uh, the the it was accepted in lit code. And then I found a little bit uh, even smarter. It's like this 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 one is a little bit faster because every time I cut a stair and reduce the limit. Like the limit was I coming from the in, input provider. It's coming like for example eight when it's eight, then the cut stair limit is like uh, reducing this to the next time the limit is less, so it will uh, run a little bit less time there, and finally I just the I is the answer. It's a little bit simple looking, but bad uh, readability it has. My code has a little bit better readability, but this is a little bit faster than my code. Uh, well, the, this is yeah. This is log n. This time complexity and the space complexity that I'm still working on. I need to understand a little bit more details or more better over time. I'm gonna do it, and I'm gonna yeah. So I have. I'm gonna keep posting and show you my updates. Well, so uh, here. For example, uh, that was a solution I had uh, submitted a couple of times, and maybe I can show you my story. Uh, no, no, submission stories. Yeah, so with that case, arranging I have, it was a couple of times wrong answer, and then accepted 9ms. That was my solution actually, and then as I found on the n minus on that solution is like. Also accepted, but it's seven millisecond is a little bit better. Okay. Then I was working with uh, another solution. That was a hard problem. Uh, that was a hard problem. It's like uh, count the count of a smaller number after self. Okay. In that problem. I have been. It's like a, you have a, it, it is a list of elements in the arrays given and uh, you have to provide a list of uh, number in the output uh, array. Well, the, the first, the, the way it, it was counted, the way it is uh, deciding is like when it's five, you have to decide like uh, what is the smaller number in after that for this five it's two and one that means is the, the here it will you write you will write two and then for two it's just one so you have to write this one when it's six it's just one you write one and when it's one there is no more left uh, smaller then you write zero so they have a quite extensive amount of testing actually and uh, uh, well i tried first the first try it was already passed but it wasn't it wasn't that much effi efficient as you see uh the, the it was like uh, with the submission if you see uh, here it's accepted how do i how can i see that which one was I don't know when I click it here it directly goes to the problem or no it's a well when it's accepted it shows this like how much memory it uses. you see it's a using a huge memory and at the end also a lot of runtime it takes and also memory it takes it's also not it's for, for 41 megabyte and the runtime was a huge CS 653 millisecond because it was in a, in a square solution I did it like this I take took a list and the list I just uh, yeah the smaller element was zero and then well this little, little bit bad formatted I see showing in my browser in my in, in my Eclipse yeah, so my solution, the first solution was uh, this one actually, this one, and uh, it's like, uh, yeah, you, see, you can see the time time was n square, it's like two loop there, that makes n square, and uh, 
num uh, the number it provides like the 5 to 2 1 uh, what do we have here yeah it has a quite excess extensive test for example for this one 5 to 2 1 when it's the length is 4 it will visit until 4 and uh, yeah smaller uh, element counter is just skip it 0 I just keep track how much is common I just when it's considering 0 first and for that with the next element it compares with this uh, yeah so num i if num i is bigger I, I mean uh, yeah so num i means the the first one is bigger it's just increasing increasing I mean the smaller uh, smaller amount smaller uh, element count it's like after that after five two or one so it's like two times so it counts and then in another list is the output list we insert one after another and finally i just the the the, the uh, solution is quite simple but it's taking a lot of uh, time comes complexity that was the problem then i tried something else to reduce it and then the idea was it's like uh, hmm, how to show it it's like uh, the Id idea was something I can tell you here it's like uh, 5 2 2 6 1 so if we consider 5 for example or from the last place if we start to consider 1 and then uh, we just uh, put this you know uh, how to say like uh, the the already processed data in another list this is gonna be a sorted list and from there we just you know one is processed you know the one after one or after six last is for the last digit there is nothing it's always the result will be zero so uh, we just for the resulted array we keep it zero and we this value one which is already processed we put it in another uh, in another uh, another array which is going to be sorted and then the next time we take the 6 and then, then in that array we compare the 1 and 6 well 1 is smaller and then we put it in the right side and when it's 1 is uh, I mean you have to just keep it sorted somehow and with that you just next time you inserted the value and insert it array you can see this the index where you inserted the next value it's always next value is it's about the uh, you know the resulted uh, is how many things are smaller you know that immediately with this sorted array you don't have to do much there and, and with that actually I tried it it became a little bit complex and then some extensive extens extensive test like they have quite extensive extensive test uh, this one was uh, passed for this code well this became a little bit messy to check it like for the first digit uh, it was this one uh, where it's zero then we provided zero the result was this this is a, I provided actually a array uh, two array it's like you they have an integer uh, in list of integer that uh, I had to return it but I didn't do it at the beginning uh, I just convert it at the end this list as a array as a list uh, well then for the first digit uh, I mean last digit actually I started from the last with the length and uh, it's just going to the back to the first digit well the last digit I provided zero and then sorted numbers uh, this is another list where it will be sorted numbers I provided on for example this one no? okay and then the, for the second digit the score is a little bit messy I thought maybe I'm gonna do some uh, how to say some uh, yeah so it's like when you do the writing the test uh, there are three phases on one is like red blue refactor so it is like making red well red green refactor and then I wanted to refactor but I didn't do it actually because at the end with some even more extensive tests it did not pass 
well the idea i tell you at, at least idea is like the second one when it's number two that means the right side is like only one value is there so you don't have to don't have to worry mass so in that case the sorted value has only sorted number has only one element so it can be like his left side or right side this this uh this number the new number can be so when it's le left side then i put it this three number in the right side is here when it's right side and then i put it in the right side and uh, yeah so i just for keeping length because it's a array this is result and sorted numbers is array is not a list for keeping track until which element is filled there i had to introduce also a sorted numbers current length this is a little bit messy i know well and then i did some also better coding later on so then result mm, yeah we inserted there in other case like when uh, this number is smaller than the sorted number i mean on when the number in this, this case like six is bigger it will be this case but if see if, if six was zero for example in that case it came here and it has to be inserted in the beginning of this list of the sorted numbers that was the idea and the second case is like uh, first two cases always like that and third and on all the more cases this is little bit getting complex like when it when the number is uh, smaller than the started i mean the, f the first index zero i mean like index zero is always the smallest if it's even smaller that means it has to be inserted in the first number of this sorted number and in com uh, in the same time all the other values should be on bit shifted to the right side that's what it does actually here it's shifting on 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 digit right and then at the end it's just inserting this value right in the sorted numbers yeah so this is on an another case for example if this data uh, the new data when it comes for example 2 if it is not smaller than uh, the the the, the uh, last one that means it should be somewhere in the middle because it's a sorted array in that case we have to do like this we have to just find out where it should be it's like comparing each element one after another uh, when it is uh, when it is uh, just found just bigger than this uh, certain element then we put it there we know the index where to put it and then uh, first what, what we do like we shift all the numbers to the right side we shift all the number to the right side uh, and then at the end we insert it this below to the current that index right where it should be and we shift it all to the right side that means it's sorted again well what mistake i did probably the case is when it has to be inserted at the end this when is this value is the biggest one for example that's i didn't consider probably that was the problem in here yeah so sometimes it also had some duplicate detected it's like uh, on two times 100 for example or sometimes uh, double same things double seven and seven in that case when it's uh, duplicate detected and then the result i the result list has to be just one less because uh, there is a duplicate here yeah so that is how it is and uh, well the last one i did not consider when the last one then it has to be just inserted on the at the end that probably there is the mistake i did that was i mean until with all the test it was passing but maybe that was the case for uh, yeah some time what i or they provided maybe i'm gonna test it check it later on with that if it passing with this code but that was i mean that should be faster actually but i mean well we have to while loop while loop i mean for loop is a n and while loop is like a log n and uh, two log n we have and one for loop is like 
n log n we have a i'm not sure if can people has to say n log 2n or n log 2n or n 2 log n or something like that probably people have to say that is one solution and then i found even simpler i mean that all this hazard code i organized little bit the final solution was even better i mean that code did not passed and the final solution for example this one was even better then i just finding index this thing i totally shifted to another method who does all this it's like uh it's, it's uh yeah so for example I, mean, I just took a list uh I, I add a first with the length it will be the result there uh, i mean uh, yeah so it will be the result and the sorted list is like we put the sorted list the same idea actually what we have seen that messy code <laughs> there but this code is a little bit understandable i provide it like this so i provide a loop until from the last the same idea like from the last from one then six then two then five yeah just first take uh, the last digit and i just provided a method and we decide there where to put it in the in the in the sorted list uh, yeah so when you know it we just uh, provide it in the index actually it's also in the last for example in the result it's, it should be also in the last place in the result i provide that uh, location actually that location is the amount of uh, time it uh, it's uh, smaller than the current digit it's like last digit is always zero and then everything is like index is the num number of amount of time because it's sorted array that does this job so index number should be the uh, number of time it is smaller i mean some some other numbers are smaller than current number and the sorted list we put the that index this below for example in that case num is one or six or whatever last is it no study is last and how we decide uh, this uh, find index is like uh, we just keep that idea like how to sort it a sorted how to insert value in a sorted array that's the idea actually uh, this is like a data structure that we have to provide this here is like we have to this is the n uh, and n time complexity it takes and for this sorting it takes uh, log n actually well so how, how I do it when is the first is it uh, like when it's one last digit i mean then it's return zero because we don't have uh, anything right side zero amount of smaller number found and, uh, and then i mean when the sorted list is just has some value we just uh, last value and last digit and uh, i mean last uh, index and first index we just separate it like that and uh and uh, if uh, we just uh, ask it is current value like what is coming for example one when it's coming the next value six is current value uh, bigger than the existing value if it is bigger then it should be inserted in the right side we just say what is the current size we just say the next place index value should be mm, please in insert that value to the right side for example one is one the next value is six then we put it in the right side in the resulted array and other way when it's like smaller or equal something like that in that case we just say current like zero index we insert it in the zero index this is this is in the uh, basic things otherwise uh, for the sorting actually when it is the place is bigger it should be somewhere in the middle in that case um, we just decided like that we split the number in two part and the, because it's already sorted if the number is smaller than first half yeah so uh, we just 
is in the middle if is this number is uh, bigger than middle then we just add that number one more middle plus one that start point is just move one more forward it's like slowly we come to the point and when it's uh, with current number is not bigger than that we just provide meet it's like from two sides it's come slower to the close to the point yeah so when it's not uh, i mean until the start it starts sorted list to the uh, end of sorted list until it comes because we are changing time every time it starts a sorted list and sorted list and when it's like they are very close at that time they are just next digit in that case we say is current value smaller or equal than the existing value like the yeah if it is smaller then we just say zero number for example we, we just found the right place where to insert it and otherwise we just uh, say the right side the you know the en end of sorted list that means the this from this two value inside the sorted the right one yeah that's how we just decide the index so it's, uh, it makes actually faster and this it makes the job very fast it's like i show you how different it made uh yeah so it was uh, 653 at the first submit and then when i submitted another one that updated on data many time uh, failure and this one is like 15 milliseconds see the difference is huge and uh, yeah memory is almost similar that is used but runtime was for very fast yeah yeah so that was the solution so yeah my experience is not that bad it's little bit uh, how to say it's always a uh, little bit hard to find the correct solution or the best solution with the complexity or uh, or the space complexity and time complexity i'm learning all is still now with all this stuffs i'm trying to improve my quality actually of development and uh, getting the comparatively best solution what i can get and uh, yeah i'm trying to actually improve it that's the goal and time to time i'm i'm gonna do it some more solution problem solution and i'm gonna share with you people so i wish you liked it and uh, 